friend. Look for the bright red bus. We can play let's pretend when the cuckoo calls out to us. The jack in the box jumps up. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Birds fly past, the sheep eat grass. Simple silence is nothing at all. When the strong little tugboat toots one, come on, there's lots of fun. Hello, it's nice to see you today. Why don't we sing some songs and go to the park with some friends as well? Oh, can you hear that funny noise? Listen carefully. Do you know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like some animals, some tiny little animals. And it sounds as though they're talking. Come on, let's go and see what it's all about. It was you talking. Oh, what were you saying? Oh, come on, you can tell me. You'd like to listen to? Okay, I will go and get my guitar and we'll sing the first song, okay? <laughs> Girls and boys come out to play The moon that shines as bright as day Leave your supper, leave your sleep And join your friends out in the street Come with a whoop and come with a call Come with goodwill or not at all Up the ladder, down the wall A halfpenny loaf will serve us all Girls and boys come out to play The moon that shines as bright as day Leave your supper, leave your sleep And join your friends out in the street <laughs> Thank you. Have you got a teddy that you really love and you love to snuggle it and cuddle it and look after it and to take it to bed with you? Well, I've got a friend called Zoe and Zoe has a teddy bear that's very, very old and Zoe really loves that teddy. So I thought we'd sing a song for that teddy and for you and for your teddy too. Me and my teddy bear have no worries, have no cares. Me and my teddy bear play and play all day. I love my teddy bear. He's got one eye and got no hair. But I love my teddy bear. We play and play all day. Zoe and her teddy have a friend called Danielle. And guess what? Danielle has a teddy too. Me and my teddy bear have no worries, have no cares. Me and my teddy bear play and play all day. Do your teddies like to play together? The way that Zoe's and Danielle's teddies do? I'll bet they have lots of fun. Well, today, Zoe and Danielle and their friend Adam are going to go for a picnic in the park. But before they go, Danielle has to feed her little ginger kitten. What would you feed the little kitten? Would you feed it some milk? Would you feed it some special cat food? Well, I wonder what Danielle is going to feed it. I love little pussy, her coat is so warm And if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm Meow. Can you be a little pussy cat too? So I'll not pull her tail, nor drive her away But pussy and I very gently will play I thought I heard a meow while we were singing that song 
there's nobody around here. Was it you? Was it? Well, it's time now to go to the park. Are you ready? I think that before we go, we should wash our faces. Will you wash your face too? Wash your dirty face, wash your dirty face. Rub and scrub and rub and scrub and wash your dirty face. Let's wash our hair too. Wash your dirty hair, wash your dirty hair. Rub and scrub and rub and scrub and wash your dirty hair. Oh, we better not forget our feet. Wash your dirty feet, wash your dirty feet. Rub and scrub and rub and scrub and wash your dirty feet. That was fun. And we're nice and clean too. Well, I suppose we'd better start thinking about what we're going to eat on the picnic. How about, how about some crisp, crunchy apples and some yummy bananas and, um, and some peanut paste. Yum. What do you think we should take to drink? What's that noise? That's the milkman's cart bringing us some milk. We can drink that. And behind it is the baker's cart with some fresh bread. We can eat some bread too. The milkman's horse goes clip clop, clip clop. Bottles go clink, clink, clink. He's just in time for breakfast, so we've lots of milk to drink. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Clink, 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 clink. He's just in time for breakfast, so we've lots of milk to drink. The baker's horse goes clip clop, clip clop. See him toss his head. He's very proud because he brings us loaves of fresh brown bread. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. See him toss his head. He's very proud because he brings us loaves of fresh brown bread. Did you see while they were packing the picnic basket that Danielle was playing with her little dolly? It was a little rag doll. And that little dolly's name is Mary, a happy, smiling Mary. Well, that reminds me of a song about another Mary, not a happy Mary at all, but a very contrary Mary. shells and pretty maids all in a row well I think we're just about ready let's just make sure we've packed the picnic basket we've washed our faces we've even fed the kitten I think that's about all there's one more thing we have to do we have to decide just how we're going to get to the park well we could go by bus we could go by plane. We could go by boat. But I don't think, I don't think that we could go by elephant. I've got the perfect answer. Let's go by train. Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puffing billies all in a row. The man upon the engine pulls a little lever. Chook, chook. something that I saw one day when I was down by the ocean. I saw a great big ship that had lots and lots of people on board and it was coming into the wharf to let off some of the passengers and it was being pulled along by a tiny little boat, a very strong little boat that was chugging along and very gently leading the big boat right in. And that small boat 
was called a tugboat. Chug, chug, chug. I'm a little tug. I pull the big boats. Chug, chug, chug. Well, a tugboat has no carriages at all. But a train has lots of carriages. And it has one special carriage. It's right at the back of the train. Do you know what it's called? It's called the caboose. And in the caboose is the guard. And the guard has a very important job because he signals the driver when it's safe for the train to chuff its way out of the station. Why don't we sing a song about the little red caboose? Little red caboose, little red caboose, little red caboose behind the train. Smokestack on its back, rumbling down the track. Little red caboose behind the train. Wasn't that fun, going to the park by train? Let's cross the bridge now. Let's catch up with Zoe and Adam. I think I can see a seesaw. Do you like to ride on the seesaw too? Have you ever noticed how many different kinds of trees you can see in the park? Great big trees and quite small trees, just little baby ones. There are other kinds of trees too. There's one particular kind that I don't think you'd find in a park, but you might find it in your backyard. Apple trees. He wanted to pick some apples. The tree with moss was overgrown. Tom fell down, down, down. Tommy and the apple. Well, the next time that you're climbing, don't be like Tommy. Be careful. Well, there are lots of things to climb on in our park. Adam, can you climb that pole? That's terrific. Um, can you get down again, though? Marvellous. OK, are you ready? Quickly climb up to the top. And quickly climb down. Can you do it again? One. Two, three, up. One, two, three, down. That was terrific. We we're having lots of fun with Adam then. Let's see if we can find some other things to climb on in the park. Have you ever climbed a tree? If you haven't, come with me. Let's climb this way. Let's climb. Let's climb right up to the sky. Shall we climb the tree again? Are you ready? Have you ever climbed a tree? If you haven't, come with me. Let's climb this way. Let's climb. Thank you very much. I didn't realise that you were still there. 
I beg your pardon? Oh, you'd like a little treat, would you? Something nice to eat. Well, how about a lollipop? Right? One lollipop. By the time those teddies have finished eating that lollipop, all that will be left is one little stick. Do you think that if we took the stick, we planted it and we watered it and we looked after it carefully, we might manage to grow a lollipop tree? One fine day in early spring, I did a funny thing. Right in the yard behind our house, I planted a lollipop twig. Then every day, I watered it well, watched it carefully. I hoped one day that stick would grow to be a lollipop tree. Oh, 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 oh what a sight to see. Sat beneath that wonderful tree, looked up with a grin. When I opened up my mouth, a lollipop jumped right in. Whoa, oh, 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 what a sight to see! Be my lollipop, 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 lolly, lolly, lollipop tree. Winter came, days grew cold as winter days will. On my tree, my lovely tree, not one little lollipop grew. From every branch an icicle hung, the twigs were bare as bones. But when I broke the icicles off, they turned to ice cream cones. Whoa, oh, 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 what a sight to see. Me and my lollipop, 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 lolly, lolly, lollipop tree. Wouldn't it be fun if there really were lollipop trees? Let's do something different in the park now. Come on, let's dig in the sand. Digging, digging with my spade. See the great big hole I've made. Now I'll build a castle high, right up to the bright blue sky. I will make my castle grand with shells I've Try something together. See if you can make this sound. Ready? Ooh, ha. I couldn't hear you. Try it again. Ooh, ha. That's good. Now, this is just a little bit different. Listen carefully. Ooh, ha. That's terrific. Let's try it one last time. Ooh, ha. There it is. That's the sound we were trying to make. That's the kookaburra. Just listen. Don't you think he sounds as though he's laughing? Kookaburra sits in an old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, gay, your life must be. Let's play a game now. Can you think of a really fun game that you feel like playing? No? Can you think of a game, Teddies? A really nice one that you feel like playing now? No, but I can think of a game. In the park, there are all sorts of really good places to hide. Let's have a game of hide and seek. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You are hiding far from me. Looking here, looking there. I can't see you anywhere. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You are hiding far from me. It a pat, what is that? Oh, it's just a pussy cat. <laughs> Everyone looked so happy playing that game, didn't they? Even Danielle looked happy when she was caught. Oh, they're doing something different now. I wonder what it is. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And there are lots of other actions that you can do to that song too. You don't have to clap your hands. You could sneeze or you could jump. Anything at all that you feel like doing. And there are all sorts of things that make us feel happy. All our favourite things do. One of my favourite things is to take a big handful of autumn leaves and scrunch them. They make a lovely sound. Or just to walk through the autumn leaves and they all twirl around. Or just to stand and watch the beautiful colours of the leaves as they fall down from the trees. Did you see the wind today blow the autumn leaves away? From the trees they fluttered down, some were red and some were brown. Rustling up and down the street, dancing round my little feet. Did you see the wind today blow the leaves away? That leaf looked beautiful sailing down the stream. I wonder if it would sail all the way down to the ocean. Well, anyway, it might meet a little friend, perhaps a little goldfish. Have you ever seen a little fish of gold? He's such a slippery little fish, too slippery to hold. He lives both day and night inside a bowl of glass. He never has to go to school or march into a class. Do you have a goldfish at home? Do you feed it just a tiny piece of food each day? Oh, it sounds like thunder. I wonder if it's going to rain. Well, if it does, I don't suppose Goldie Goldfish will mind at all, because he's already wet. But I don't like being wet, do you? How about we put on our yellow raincoats? <laughs> just got inside in time, didn't they? The rain's really coming down now. You know, when I was little, I used to love to stand at the window and watch the rain. And I used to press my nose up against the window and it felt really cold and I'd press it as hard as I could. Oh, it felt funny. But you got a really good look at the rain as it came tumbling down. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head, he went to bed, he couldn't get up in the morning. Rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. Do you remember Danielle's little ginger kitten? Well, I wonder what it's been doing all day while they've been playing in the park. It might have been chasing mice. Perhaps it was playing with its little toys. I think I know what it's been doing. Oh, it looks so sleepy. I think it's been asleep in the chair all day. It was such a soft, quiet song, wasn't it? Did you like that, Teddies? 
Titties? Oh, shh. They're fast asleep. I think we'd better go and make sure they're tucked up properly. Well, the Teddies are tired. It's been such a long day. You're going to get cold feet, silly Billy. Let's tuck you in. Keep you nice and snug. Well, it's night time. The stars are out. And of course the moon is too. Good night, sir. The man in the moon came down too soon and asked the way to Norwich. He went by the south and burnt his mouth from eating cold plum porridge. Do you think that the man in the moon gets lonely up in the sky all by himself? I don't think he does because up there with him are lots and lots of bright, shiny stars. And if you go outside when it's dark and look up into the sky, you'll see the stars too. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are then the traveler in the dark thanks you for your tiny spark he could not see which way to go if you did not twinkle so twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are in the dark blue sky you keep often through my curtains peep for you never shut your eye till the sun is in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are we've really had a nice time in the park today haven't we but the stars are out so that means there's time for one more song. Golden slumbers kiss your eyes, smiles awake you when you rise. Sleep pretty darling, do not cry. And sing a lullaby care you know not there for sleep 